Hello, good evening, my friends. Welcome to <clears throat> another English class. We're going to start in just uh, let me tell you that we have just <clears throat> tonight, tomorrow, and on Wednesday. Then we're going to finish this module, something that is uh, really, really positive because we have been working during um, <clears throat> different classes. So it is like this, right? We're going to check, let me see. Some of you are sending messages. So I'm going to check them. Remember always to mute your sound and activate your camera. <clears throat> I'm going to prepare some, well, a couple images. And we're going to see who is going to to be here. Good evening, Hello, good evening. How are you tonight? Everything okay? Yeah, thank you. Okay, that's perfect. No problem with the platform? Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Everything in order? Okay, let me check this. <clears throat> well, my friends, uh, to, tonight we have class number 22. So, good evening, um, hello, hello, Miguel. Good evening to everyone. Here we have class number 22. And the topic is how to use will. It's a uh, grammar structure that uh, yeah it's kind of easy it is not that difficult and well and here we have the vocabulary <clears throat> the vocabulary for tonight it's kind of interesting because uh, this is uh, I recommend you to have a screenshot of this. This is this is gold. Esto es oro. Re, créanme. Eso le va a ayudar a unir ideas. Okay? You can have a screenshot and we're going to I'm going to explain. Okay, um, here we have linking words. Some of them are called conjunctions. Algunas son, pues, conocidas como conjunciones. En el caso donde dice addition, fíjense bien. And also in addition, besides, besides con S, porque si solo dicen beside es a la par. ¿Verdad? Es como decir next to. Ahora, as well as... All of them can be uh, named as conjunctions, but they have a very specific function that it is to link ideas. So we can have words related to addition, related to order, related to contrast, and to emphasis, okay? You make emphasis on something, you make contrast, or you make order, okay? Let's go with addition. And also, in addition, besides, as well as. And we have contrast. But, that is very common, but. But here we have however. However, we have although. La G y la H siempre se pronuncian como F. Por ejemplo, otras palabras serían risa. Love. 
लव लव ट्रायर वर्ड टफ कौन है सिर टफी टफ एल्गो के इस टिमिलर अ हार्ड लाइक डिफिकल्ट लव टफ लव टफ ओके सो इन दिस केस इस ऑल टफ ऑल टफ ओके एंड हियर हाउ आल्सो ऑन द अदर हैंड and whereas whereas and we have something to make emphasis especially in particular in particular indeed above all in fact by the way i'm going to give some examples i like fruits i love uh, apple pineapple in addition watermelon we can make order. Um, there are a lot of benefits of exercising. First, your body gets fit. Second, you are healthy. Third, you have energy. Next, you are motivated. Okay? So I'm giving different ideas. Contrast. You can say related to likes. Uh, always um i love vegetables however i don't like garlic or i like vegetables although i hate onion entonces están haciendo contraste emphasis uh you can say i have a lot of free time activities especially i like to play the guitar or I love practicing sports, in particular basketball. I love music. By the way, I love rock. You notice uh, we are working with addition, order, contrast, emphasis. Tonight, we're going to focus on contrast. Nos vamos a enfocar en el contraste ahora. Contrast. Think about... Think about um, ideas. Piensen en ideas en las cuales ustedes me van a decir algo. Luego dicen, pero, ¿verdad? Ejemplo. Para que no se confunden, for you, don't complicate, you can use the verb like. I like animals. Um, whereas... I don't like cats. Okay. Uh, one example. You can talk about fruits, uh, sports, or you can talk about routines, your job, whatever you want to say. Okay. So, or you can say, I, I love fruits. Although, I a uh, pear ok entonces están diciendo amo las frutas pero odio la pera ok so, en este caso no necesariamente tiene que ser algo negativo pero sí reflejar un contraste ok um, I'm going to check the attendance list please uh, think about one idea piensen en alguna idea que me van a decir ok le doy un segundo so you think about it and I'm going to call you one by one. Y lo, ya lo llamo uno por uno. We start now with the attendance list. Me teacher. Okay. Yes, hello. Uh, I love pizza, but dislike uh, burger. 
Mm -hmm. I this you can say I dislike. Okay, thank you. Okay, here we have Miguel. Okay, I'm going to check it here. We go now with Alex Enoch. Okay, no. Uh, what about Raquel? Ana Raquel? Okay, Vicky is not here. Um, Brandon, are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay. Okay, uh, I love, uh, I like Coca, but I prefer Pepsi. Thank you. Uh, Denise is driving, so relax, Denise. Uh, Freddy's? Present, teacher. I Thank don't you. speak English, but I learn it. Very nice. Thank you. And Albert, please. Good evening, teacher. Uh, why or because can no can fly? Okay. In este caso, uh, sería como, como sin embargo no podemos volar. Mm, mm. Lo ideal es tener dos ideas. Aquí solo como que es una idea, pero no se especifica. Mejor es de pensar en otra. Una idea, luego va el pero y otra idea puesta. Ok. Vamos con Ernest. Eh, ejemplo, oh. Después de ella podría ir al Bad Griffin. Push the, push the trees it. Repítemela de nuevo, please. Pero, eh, Bad Griffin, Bad Griffin. Push hit, yes it. Eh, sería, pero sin, pero, pero sin problemas lo intenta, ¿no? Mm, but no. With no problems, with, uh -huh, without problems, he tries. Podría hacer, tal vez ahí, aunque aquí no, está, no se cumple la, la, la función de las dos ideas. But yeah, you can say it in that way. Thank you. Ernest and... Oh. Hi, teacher. Hello there. I need to go to the beach. On the other hand, I don't have money. Perfect. Example. Thank you. Me too. Okay. Maho, I don't know if you are there. Yes, I'm here. Good evening. Um, yeah. I like reggae music, but I really like, I really love rock in Spanish. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Maritza, are you there? Yes, uh, I like to play soccer, uh, but I prefer I prefer to practice swimming. Swimming, thank you. That's it. Okay, what about Morelia? Are you there? Morelia? Okay, Nancy? Uh, present teacher. Thank you. I like football, but I'm more interested in Euro European uh, football. Thank you. Robert, please. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. I wanted, I wanted to go to the party, but I had too much work to finish. Okay, thank you. That's true. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Thank you. Okay, um, this is, uh, well, Roxana, I guess it's not available because she's kind of busy. But in this case, remember, you can use different of the different words related to linking words. You can connect ideas. And I guess sometimes you have noticed that it is difficult to express, but these words help us to have like a coherence, ayuda con la coherencia, okay? So take into account this, that's so important, okay? Well, um, let's move now with the first speaking activity. Do you think childhood is the happiest time of your life? Why, why not, okay? I need you to please send me your answer in the chat and I'm going to be checking all your answers, please.
Okay, now let's see, we're going to start in this case with Okay, um, Ernest, you go and then we go with Maho. Tell me about your answer. Hi, teacher. Hello. Okay, uh, let me a second, please. Okay. I don't think that because I think that Happiness is a decision to we do we have to to take or decide and for example I, I think that my happiness time is is now with my kids with my family uh, okay mm -hmm. nice it's um, like I don't remember really my childhood. I uh -huh. think maybe you don't think about your childhood, you don't have too much memories, but you are enjoying I'm sorry. Your life now. Okay. Nice. I get your point. Yeah, thank yes. you. Hmm, nice. Very nice. Okay, thank you. We go with Maho and sure. then no problem. Good. Uh, Maho and then Nancy. Okay. My childhood was one of the very happiest times. I grew up in a home where my parents were responsible for everything. And with my sister, we never lacked anything necessary to be able to grow up happy. However, I prefer my high school years, but I can talk by, by other persons. Okay. Nice, nice. So you prefer high school years. Childhood yes. for everything, okay? But in high school, maybe you knew some people that were very special, or you had some, yeah, some memories of that New high school. New experiences. In high school, it's very yes. uh, important stage, I think, is, is one of the, the, the most interesting. Yeah, I yes. think that. Oh, thank you. Good. You're welcome. Um, Nancy and Fredis. Okay, Nancy. Okay. Childhood is one of the best um, stages, stages of life. Uh huh. Stages of mm -hmm. life because there are no worries, only the worry of playing. Yeah. Well, most of the kids, right? Because some of the kids, some 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 uh, kids, boys or, or girls, they have to work, but. Talking about a normal childhood, you just have to eat, go to school, watch TV, um, yeah, and play. So that, that that's very relaxing time. And now that we are adults, we think about it and we say maybe we didn't appreciate it. Yeah, no, no lo valoramos mucho, but well, it happens. Thank you. Uh, Fredis and Miguel. I think so. The childhood is the best time. We just don't realize and until we grow back. Mm -hmm. We don't notice. That's yeah, it. that mom those moments are important. Thank you, Freddy. Yes. Go with Miguel and Robert. Okay, teacher. The time as a child was a very happy and beautiful time. But the truth is that we have to grow and be others because this is part of life. This is my opinion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is like a process. And yeah, we can be kids forever. We have to grow up and be adults. Yeah, parts of the life. And now that we, we see the other kids or we have kids, we now understand different things, right, from childhood. Thank you. Robert and Roxana. Si puede, Roxana. Okay, Robert. I think, teacher, all stage of life have something special. But childhood, without a doubt, is a full of magic and innocence. It's a stage that largely determines how we are as adults. 
Thank you. Very interesting. Uh, largely, their term means yes. It is what happens in, in childhood. It has a lot of impact in your life as an adult related to happy moments and magic, friends, love with your family. Uh, for example, uh, happy Christmas, birthday celebrations, family reunion, uh, different different things, right? But if there are some kids that they don't have like a normal childhood, it affects the life of adults, definitely. Totally agree. Thank you, Robert. Roxana, hello there. Bueno, si no, Green, yo... ¿Puedes? Si no, te lo leo. Yes. I can read it. Yes. No, no, no problem. And the childhood is the it's good because I don't we don't we don't worry about paying bills or how to to you solve problems. And the only thing that you think is playing. That's it. That's it. Imagine yeah, that's it. You don't have to pay bills. Come on, taxes. No, you don't have <laughs> you don't think about the salary. Do you think about Aguinaldo no. and how it, that is going to work? Or come on, um, yeah, yes. it, it, we have Are a lot of, <laughs> yeah. You can play different things, right? Like restaurant, police, and 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 rubber. But yeah, actually, it is like very very different. Okay, Albert, okay. you go. Okay, teacher. In my opinion, that is the most beautiful stage I will wear until the last day of my life. They were the samples, but don't forget, don't forget table dust because everything was happiness, everything was played with without worries and when I think. We own responsibility responsibilities because even if I have I didn't didn't worry about them. Um. Thank you. Yes, a very special word worry. We don't worry when we are kids because we are smiling, we're laughing, or even um yeah, everything is about play, yeah. A very very special special moments that we have. It is like yeah, happy old time. But well, thank you, Albert. Oh, thank you. Thank you. A very important words: unforgettable days. Yes. If you notice, uh, when we are adults, we look at the photographs, we look to the places that we visited, or we, uh, when we uh, lived our childhood. Uh, always has or brings us a lot of memories, anecdotes, stories. So that's why uh, childhood is very, but very important. Thank you. Thank you to all of you. Okay, maybe, I don't know if, if Maritza has a, an opinion about this or Morelia. I don't know. If not, maybe later they, they can. Hello. I'm sorry, teacher. I was away. Okay. Well, yeah. Let, let me think. No, in if not, you you can say it later, Morelia. Relax, okay. 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 I'm gonna break it. Okay. Perfect. Well, um, here we have this. Um. Uh, here we have different words. Go, feedback. Budget, knowledge gap, coaching, qualification, goal, uh, feedback, budget, knowledge gap, coaching, qualifications. Here we have a quality that makes someone suitable for a particular job. Okay. A ver si me ayudan leyendo. Please could you help me reading? Robert, number two. And then we continue with Miguel, number three. Okay. Okay. An estimation on of income and expenses. Expenses. Thank you, yeah, expenses. Thank you. Miguel, can you go with number three, please? Okay. Uh, budget is 
helpful information or critics criticism about the performance of, of a person of a person thank you okay uh, very nice nancy can you help me with number four the process the process of improving the perma the performance performance, performance of, of um employee Thank you. Ernest, can you help me with uh, number five? A desired. A desired result or a desired result or possible outcome. Thank you. Okay. And maybe we can have Maho, an irregular. Yes. An irregular balance of what the person should know. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. I'm going to give you a couple of seconds. Please. Uh, Take a look at this and we're going to solve Okay, Morelia, okay. well, your opinion is kind of very concrete, right? No, childhood, not yeah. for you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Morelia says, in my case, no, about childhood. Uh, I think that each, stages, uh, each stage is enjoyed in the moment. Okay, thank you. Well. Um, what about here some volunteers from one to six and you tell me i can try teacher please go ahead okay with number four knowledge gap mm -hmm. maybe can be an irregular balance of what a person should know thank you I don't know what I'm doing, I'm sorry. I'm going to select the other. Yeah, knowledge gap, it's an irregular balance of what a person should know. Thank you. What about the others? It is kind of easy. Teacher. Mm -hmm. Please. What? Me. Go ahead. A quality to make someone suitable for a particular job. I think it is number six. Qualifications. Qualifications. A quality that makes someone suitable for a particular job. Thank you. That's it. Okay, who else? Me, teacher. Please, Albert. Number five, question. Eh, pero para mí es ser la respuesta de question. A quality that make someone super. No, no, a quality that makes no. someone its qualifications. Okay, entonces number two, feedback. Eh, helpful information a uh, Christmas about the performance of persons. Mm -hmm. Of a person. 
Thank you. Esa palabra es criticism. Está rara esa palabra. Criticism. Yeah, yeah. yeah a helpful so, observation. Sorry. Or criticism. Criticism. <clears throat> about the performance of a person. That's a feedback. Thank you. Okay. Hello? Uh, Miguel. Me teacher. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I think so that five uh, cut, cutting is the process of improving the performance of employee. Yeah. yeah. Coaching. Yes. The coach viene de coach, de entrenador. Coaching. Yeah, Not the process coaching. of. Mm -hmm. Thank you. That's it. Okay. You're welcome. Okay. Number one and number three. Teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, number one. Yeah. It is a desired result or possible outcome. Mm -hmm. How do you pronounce the word, teacher? Outcome. 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 Yes. Thank you. Yes, that's it. Outcome. Thank you. And budget, obviously, an estimation of income and expenses. Okay. Eso es un presupuesto. An estimation of income and expenses. Thank you. Nice, my friends. Uh, very important words. Goal, uh, feedback, budget, knowledge gap, coaching, coaching, qualifications. Okay. Let's move. Okay, here we have this. Okay, we're going to have this uh, conversation between Diego and Stacy. Okay. Um, let's see here. Here we have, it says, we will use this chart to analyze the training needs of our new servers. It says major tasks of the position. Our servers are in charge of handling food correctly and processing payments correctly. Don't forget servers have to be friendly. I think we need to help them with that. Grooming and personal appearance. They look a bit messy. Okay. Let's have a short training next Saturday in the morning. I will organize everything and you send them an email to let them know. Okay. And we're going to practice. I guess we don't have like difficult words. Maybe handling food. Yeah. Please, I need to have a screenshot and we're going to practice a little bit. Remember always to interchange dialogues. Vamos a intercambiar dialogos so you can have a better Better practice. Just give me a second. Okay, my friends, see you in a moment. Please practice.
Okay, my friends, let's see. Do we have volunteers? Do we have volunteers for this activity? Um, just pronunciation, the pronunciation of this dialogue. Okay, let me see who maybe. Okay, maybe we can have Nancy. Who was your classmate, Nancy? My classmate uh, is Jorge. Jorge, please, could you? Alberto, right? Yeah, teacher. Okay. Oh, Jorge Alberto. Okay. You start. Jorge Alberto. <laughs> okay. We will use this chart to analyze the training need of you of, of all new servers. It says major ta task of the position. Uh, servers are in charge of handling food correct, correctly and processing payments correctly. Don't forget service have to be friend, friendly, friendly, I think we need to help them without grooming and personal appearance. They look and vibe missing. Okay, let's have a short training on a Saturday in the morning. I will organize everything and you send them an email to let them know. Thank you. Very Thank good. You Thank you. All. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you very nice. Well, uh, here we, we're using will. El will eh, es un auxiliar como el do, pero en el futuro. And we use the will for expressing future events. Okay. Mm, now that we have here, there is something important. And here we have this question. Look. Is it only new employees who need training? Okay. What do you do if uh, if you are a manager and an employee comes to you asking for training? I guess it's important. But look, if we could send our bosses to training, si pudieras enviar a nuestro, si pudiésemos enviar a nuestro jefe a, a, un, a capacitación, what kind of training do they need? Okay, tell me in the chat. Do they need training about administration? Or because they are managers, bosses, supervisors, but maybe they have difficulties. Maybe administration, leadership, coaching. Mm, maybe, maybe what else? Arabor. Okay, remember to be in silence, please, with the microphone. Okay, you tell me. Here we have some examples. Just examples, but we have some other. Maybe Ernest, in your case, uh, may, what do you consider some managers? I'm not talking about your boss. In general, managers, do they need training, Ernest? Do you consider uh, it is like necessary that they have Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yes, in... absolutely. Because um, all, all of us needs to uh, constantly 
training. Uh, mm -hmm. We need to constantly learning new things, new procedures, uh, new ways to do the things, um, like the technology, uh, innovation. We can innovation to uh, the different um, the different uh, professions, professions. Mm -hmm. Professions. In okay. administration, leadership, uh, coaching, accounting, uh, management. We all need uh, training. Yes. Good. Thank you. Okay, Albert, do you have any idea? And then, Freddy's, any opinions about this? Okay, let's go with Freddy's. Freddy, you say, you say teamwork, right? Yes, teacher. My, my boss is working the training teamwork mm -hmm. because it's important. The, um... Yeah, to know how to work with the with your colleagues, right? With the employees. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. What about um, Roxana or Majo? In your opinion? In this moment, we don't have an administration, um, manager administration. <laughs> They're looking for, for a new one. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Yes. But there are some difficulties, definitely. Okay. Yes. We ha we have one month to be without a manager, administration. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So they are looking for for a new one. Okay. In case you want to work there, come on, send your resume. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you, Roxana. Okay, okay. Let's move now with Maho and yes, then Robert. I think Yes, I think that some managers or bosses and mm -hmm. needs to a special training that um, how to treat in a correct way or be kind with his co-workers and a leadership too. Okay. I guess it is like I don't know how do you say uh, intelligence, emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence. Yes. It is like this. Yes. For example, I know that the managers, they have a lot of pressure because they need results, right? They need uh, certain uh, numbers, but a person responds correctly if the, the input it is positive, but if the if this supervisor or boss uh, is not empathic, if that if this person doesn't speak correctly or is not kind, it means that the reaction of the employee is not going to be good, right? It isn't. Yes, that I don't know if it's correct when you say. Is a uh, reaction on chains, come in cadenas? Yeah, reaction chains? yeah. Yes, or reaction drill. Active. Reaction drill. It is like, yeah, drill. imagine. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, imagine it is like, maybe you have like a positive mind, you have good ideas, mm -hmm. but if your supervisor is not taking into account your ideas or like push, pushes you, in wrong way, come on, you're not going to, to give your 100%, right? Definitely not. Thank you, Maho. Okay, Robert, what about you? Okay, teacher. Yes, I completely agree with Ernest because every new workers need uh, some trainings because all need grow in, in the work. Mm -hmm. And it's necessary. Yeah, it is every time. every time. Thank you. Miguel, any idea about this? Uh, yes, teacher. For me, 
training is always necessary for workers, for bosses, to be able to understand this topic or develop a project. For me, it's necessary. Okay, yeah, definitely. It is like this. Thank you, Miguel. Okay, imagine now, Um, it is like there are some supervisors, managers, or bosses that they were working in the company or they have been in different positions so they know how the company works but there are some supervisors and managers and they don't have experience in different jobs so it means that everything is new for them and they consider they are doing a good job but definitely they need training as you mentioned they need capacitation they need information induction but sometimes they think or they consider they are doing a good job and it is not that way. Thank you. Okay, my friends, let's move now with our listening. We're going to have an, a listening exercise. So please take into account uh, some words, phrases, ideas. I'm going to ask you later, what do you think about this? Maybe you can identify a vocabulary. I just want to check something here. Okay, let me check something. Okay. Okay, let's pay attention. Um, I'm going to play it two times. Let's go and listen. Hi, it's me. How is it going? I guess you're at work and you don't have your phone on, right? First of all, thank you. Thank you for the birthday card and message. I received it this morning. That's so nice of you. I'm organizing a little party for my birthday. It's nothing very big. Only a few of my best and closest friends. That means you too. We're going to have it at my cousin's house. She lives in the countryside in a nice big house with a swimming pool. I'd love to see you there. It's going to be this Friday. I'll send you the instructions on how to get there later, okay? Anyway, have fun at work. Don't work too hard, okay? Talk soon. Okay, let's listen one more time. Hi, it's me. How is it going? I guess you're at work and you don't have your phone on, right? First of all, thank you. Thank you for the birthday card and message. I received it this morning. That's so nice of you. I'm organizing a little party for my birthday. It's nothing very big. Only a few of my best and closest friends. That means you too. We're going to have it at my cousin's house. She lives in the countryside in a nice big house with a swimming pool. I'd love to see you there. It's going to be this Friday. I'll send you the instructions on how to get there later, okay? Anyway, have fun at work. Don't work too hard, okay? Talk soon. In case you have some doubts, we're going to listen the third time, okay? Let's go. Hi, it's me. How is it going? I guess you're at work. And you don't have your phone on, right? First of all, thank you. Thank you for the birthday and card and message. I received it this morning. That's so nice of you. I'm organizing a little party for my birthday. It's nothing very big. Only a few of my best and closest friends. That means you too. We're going to have it at my cousin's house. She lives in the countryside in a nice big house with a swimming pool. I'd love to see you there. It's going to be this Friday. I'll send you the instructions on how to get there later, okay? Anyway, have fun at work. Don't work too hard, okay? Talk soon. Well, any words, vocabulary, ideas? Tell me. Who? I listen to that. She's giving 
thank you for the birthday present card. Okay. And also I think that she said that received the money. I don't know if I'm incorrect. And also that she's organizing a little party in the in her cousin house. Mm -hmm. um, she lives in the countryside and it's a nice big house with a swimming pool. Okay, very nice. Yeah, good. It sounds like a good party, right? Thank you. Well, okay. nice, nice. Who else? Hi, Freddy. This, hi, he is me. Who is going? And organize a little party for my birthday. It's little in my heart pool. That's some. That's it. Thank you. Yeah, it is. It is correct. Thank you. Okay. Anybody else? Yeah, you're doing good. Okay, so. Let me present you here. Yeah. Here you have like the text. Hi, it's me. How is it going? Aquí está el how is it going, right? I guess you're at work and so on. So uh, this person is saying thank you because of the a card and message. Mm -hmm. And she's also inviting like to a, a birthday party. Is giving like details about this. Even there is a swimming pool. Wow, sounds like really good, right? Don't work too hard, okay? Talk too. Nice. Let's move to another activity that we have here. And uh, here we have this. Okay. Identify training opportunities for personal level and description of the process with the right heading. Okay, here we have one, two, three, four, five. Okay, analyze the job. Here we have identify a personal's current skills and knowledge, identify training solutions, evaluate performing after trainings, uh, evaluate performance after training, and decide skills and knowledge gaps. Here we have one, two, three, four, five steps. Okay. Here we have paid work. You're going to work in pairs and you discuss uh, which uh, of these titles goes with number one. If uh, analyze the jobs is number two, three, or four, it depends on you. So it is like five titles, cinco titulos. And here we have five paragraphs. So depends on you, what do you consider it is? Okay. I needed to send the screenshot, please, my friends, and we're going to work in pairs. You can select the the no the number of the text, the name of the text that you consider. Okay, so please, I needed to send the image so we can work in pairs. As the manual says, thank you, Maho. I don't know. Come on, Maho, send it. The previous. Thank you, Maho. Thank you so much. Okay. We're going to work in pairs. So remember, remember to add, right? any title there. Okay, see you in a moment, my friends. Please accept the request. Okay, see you in a moment, and then we're going to share. Okay, Albert, please accept the request. Brandon, Maritza.
Okay, Albert, please accept the request.
Okay, my friends, welcome back. Here we have uh, this exercise. We have five uh, titles. We have to locate one number, one, two, three, four, or five. And we're going to go in order. I'm going to select some of you and you depends on you what title you want to complete, okay? We're going to start with Miguel and Roberto. I don't know who is going to participate. I need you to tell me just one, one title. It can be from one, from one to five, depends on you. Okay, uh, Miguel okay. and Roberto. Okay, teacher, when I spoke with uh, Robert, the first is identify personal current skills and knowledge. Okay, thank you. I'm going to uh, write it. Uh, could you read it? Uh, maybe you or Robert. List all the opportunities. Mm, depends on you. Me, you? teacher. Read okay. This. Please. List all opportunities and areas of improvement where training is necessary to increase effectiveness. Effectiveness. Decide if there is a gap between the knowledge and the skill of the staff. As employees, what areas they need help with? Mm -hmm. That's it. Thank you. So list all the opportunities. Okay, uh, we're training necessary to increase effectiveness. Remember that we have we have been hired to find the solutions for different situations or problems in the company, right? So yeah, that's it. Identify personnel, uh, current skills and knowledge. Let's check this. This is done. Okay. Um, now I will need Brandon or Freddy's. Select one. Okay. Uh, number number four. Okay, number four. Identify training training and solution. Mm, could it be number two is identify training solutions? Okay. Mm -hmm. But maybe you can read number two, please, Freddy's or Brandon. Yeah. Number four. Yeah. Yeah, but number four is not. A, a, number four, I will tell you. Number four is decide skills and knowledge gaps. That is number okay. four. Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm I'm saying, I'm telling if you want to, Read, could you read number two or I know if Brandon can? Okay, number three. Oh, okay. What, which one do you want to read? Number two or number three? Because I'm writing the, the text. If you can, please read number two. Mm -hmm. Find the best way. Identify training solution is fine. It's number two. Find the best way to, to provide. Find the best way to provide training. One yeah. on one coaching, short term yes. or long term training. Learning, decide the option that best fits, that best fits the needs on your staff and company. Thank you. So in this case, um, I want to mention some of the phrases. For example, short term and long term. Okay, short term, it is like a period of time that is very brief. And long term, it is like more time, more days. Okay, thank you, um, Fredis. Let's move now with maybe Majo and Ernest. Okay. Three, four, or five. 
Um, number three, it's okay. Um, ask a staff members to use a checklist and evaluate their progress. Look at the work area and check if there is still evidence of a deficiency in a skill or knowledge. Mm -hmm. um, is evaluate personal after training. Thank you. I'm going to check here. Evaluate performance. Okay, evaluate performance after training. So checklists are very important tools if we want to check a devaluation of something. If you can do something, if you learn different things, and now you can apply this knowledge, okay? And look if there is evidence of deficiency in skills of knowledge. Yeah, that's it, if there are some gaps. Thank you. Thank you so much. Let's move now with maybe Maritza, Albert, or Nancy. Yes. Would you work number four or five? Um, number number four. Mm -hmm. Um, observe what the employee is does well and what needs improvement check for qualification training course and responsibilities for previous previous position get more individual information for human resource is designs skill and knowledge gap thank you mm -hmm. it is like this Mm -hmm. That's it. Observe what employees does well and what needs improvement. This is very, very, but very important this stage because you make like a, a diagnosis and because you notice what things are good in the company and what things are bad. For example, in a restaurant, if everything is okay about the service of waitress, no problem, but if there is the front desk clerk or the host, la persona que atiende al inicio, the person who orders people in the in the chairs in the in the in the tables, if th there is problem with that, so you have to train that kind of employee. Or if the in the kitchen, if the chef are not doing a good job, maybe in that way. So you have to identify um, like areas to improve. And finally, number five, analyze the job. Maybe we can have the pronunciation of Roxana. Number five, could you help me please reading, discuss and describe? Yes, you can. Mm -hmm. okay. Number five, discuss yeah. and describe the responsibilities of the position with the employee. Write down indications of um, knowledge and skill that match the position. Identify the process change in the description. Okay, that's it. Thank you. So that's analyze the job. Well, thank you so much. Um, I don't know if we have some the song for tonight. Tenemos una canción pendiente, me parece, verdad? Let me check. Vicky. I don't know if Vicky. Was that but she she's kind of busy, right? Okay. If not, well, we're going to skip that 
Part, right? Brandon, no sé si tú presentas tu canción, Brandon. No, no. Okay, can you present it tomorrow? Yes, I can. Okay, please, my friend. Tomorrow, bring your son, and you're going to present it tomorrow. Okay. Well, here we have this. Let me check something. Okay. Now that we have identified this, uh, use the process in the previous page to determine your skill and knowledge at work. Decide if you need to go to a training and what training solutions would you prefer? Analyze the job. What activities uh, do I need to perform in my job? Identify my current skill and knowledge. What specific skills do I need to perform my job in Am I skilled to perform my job? Decide skills and knowledge gaps. Are there any skills lack that I could help me do my job better? And here we have identify training solutions. What type of training program would help um, to develop the skills and lack? What are some training solutions uh, that do not conflict with uh, my work schedule in my personal life, online programs, on the job training mentoring. Well, practically here we have like this, if we need to determine your skills and knowledge at work. But well, first, I guess that we have like better, we're going to move in case we don't have, in case we have difficulties, porque ya tenemos poco tiempo. Um, This is an example how to use will, como utilizar el will. Okay, look at the examples in the box, then complete the exercises below. Okay, uh, very important. Use will to make predictions, to say what you believe will happen in the future. Okay, I will need um, that Miguel helped me with these two sentences. I think, famous. Okay, Miguel, please. You can you read that? Yeah, I need you to read this. I think a famous chef. I think, okay. I think a famous chef will come to the event. Good. The man manager will prepare a new training for host. Perfect. Thank you. And well, this is for prediction number two. Use a will for decisions. Look at this. Decisions that you make spontaneously. Okay. It is like something that happens in the moment. At the time when you are speaking. In this case, I will need, uh, maybe Roxana, can you help me? Consumers. Okay. Customers are complaining about slow service. I will talk to the staff. Mm -hmm. Continue. Next. Okay. That server just supply, supply that the soup on the customer. I will call the manager. Thank you. That's it. Yeah. So it is a decision. For example, uh, a person mm, makes a mistake and you are the manager. And the customer says, I want to talk to the manager. And you come and then... This person is complaining, is kind of upset. And when you're going, you have to take a decision, right? You make a, make a, a spontaneously decision. So in that case, you say, I will talk to the staff. Okay, l l let me see what we can do. Okay, so uh, this is uh, predictions, decisions spontaneously. And you hear how, use will to make a promise or offer, promise or offer to help somebody. Robert, could you help me with the last sentences, please? Okay, teacher. Are we there at 9 a.m.? Yes. I will help you prepare the document for the training. Yes, that's it. 
is when you you want to make a promise or you want to offer your help. Okay, three uh, situations. Predictions, number one. Number two, decisions. And three, promise or offer. Okay, now let's go with the exercise. Okay, 20 minutes and we say goodbye. Okay, here we have this. Complete the sentences using will and the verb in parentheses. Okay, and here we have six sentences. I need you to take a look at this. Okay, take a look at this. And then we're going to complete, okay? I'm going to give you a couple of seconds so you can have a better idea. And then we come back to answer this exercise. Okay, let's finish. Here we have just two activities and we say goodbye, right? Um, here we have number one. Don't worry, I will show you how to process a credit card payment, okay? Volunteers for number two, three, four, five, or six? Me, teacher. Okay, what number? Uh, two, I'm sure yeah. you will have a good time of the train. Yes. Perfect. I will have. Very easy. A good time at the training. Thank you. Who else? King Mas. Me, teacher. Okay, Roxana. And then Alberto and then Brandon. Okay, okay. please. The training needs analysis. An an analysis. Analysis. Analysis will be a success. Success. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Will be a success. Good. Okay, Albert and Brandon. Okay, teacher number six. Mm -hmm. The manager will work hard to help you improve. Uh -huh. Improve. How? Uh -huh. Thank you. Yeah. Improve. Definitely. Thank you. Okay, Brandon, please. Your turn. Number five. Mm -hmm. She wants late to meeting. Thank you. She won't be late, yeah. Will not or won't. Thank you. And let's move with the last person, maybe Freddy's. Could you help me with number four? I promise. This number four. I promise I will do my best to get a good score in the evaluation. Thank you. Yes. Mm 
Mm -hmm. I promise I will do my best to get a good score in the evaluation. Easy. Solo se le agrega will más el verbo que puede ser cualquiera. Aquí ya estaba un ejemplo en el paréntesis. Y listo. Ok, perfect. Well, my friends, we go to the last part of this uh, class. Here we have. El verbo siempre en su estado natural, eh, normal. Natural, no, no cambia. De hecho, de hecho will eh, es, la, es el auxiliar más fácil de usar. No te va a dar problema con nada. ¿Verdad? Will y el verbo ahí no existe tercera persona ni ni nada que te complique, ¿verdad? Así como está ahí, sencillo. Ya vamos a hacer oraciones, ¿ok? Pero si te okay. das cuenta, no, no te complica. Bien fácil de, de utilizar el will. Y ya se sabe que está hablando del futuro. Ok, my friends. Uh, please. The last activity. Should public transport be free? Why, why not? Ok. I will wait for your answers in the chat. And this is the last activity. You tell me your opinions. What do you consider? Uh, this is okay. This is not okay. What are the reasons? Okay, I'll be waiting.
Okay, let's listen to some of your opinions. Quite important. Remember that these are like some questions that maybe we may think we may consider it right? like, yeah, it uh, could be or not. So we go with Miguel and then Roxana. Okay, Miguel, tell us your point of view. Okay, teacher. I think so. It will be uh, good, but it will be good is if transport were free. But we must also think that we must pay for repairs, their cost, pay the motorists, and the truth is, it's necessary to pay for our public transport. Okay. It's for you. Mm -hmm. There are like some other details, right? It is not just the gasoline, it, right? Yeah. It is not only that. There are different things. Okay. Thank you, Miguel. Very nice opinion. Roxana and Morelia. Okay. It should be free to increase ridership and encourage people to choose public transport, transport over their car. That way, there will be less traffic jam. Mm -hmm. That's it. Uh, if people would like to, oh, if people would prefer public transportation, it would be like uh, less traffic because if you take into account the quantity of money that you spend on gasoline, right? Yes. It is better to save that, that uh, money, right? So yeah. Good yeah. example. Thank you, Roxana. Okay. Morelia and then Albert. Morelia? Yes, it will be because the life, the life is expensive and have a trans, public transport free could be a bill help to the majority of the workers and the traffic could be less. Yeah, the traffic could be less, definitely. Maybe little by little, but yeah, it, it could be like a big difference. And everything is, is expensive, as you mentioned. Yeah, it is. And that could be like a big help for families, especially for the ones that they have the minimal salary, right? Yes. Thank you, Marilia. Very nice. Albert, and then we go with Ernest. Okay, I think it cannot be free because the drives are doing work to sur survive and to think that it would, it would be like taking away their income to survive. I ask, will you work free for free? Okay, it is like uh, they are doing a job. They're, the drivers, it is part of, of the everyday work. So, yeah, uh, like everybody, maybe the government could pay, but the drivers have like, uh, depends on the the passengers. It's not a, a, a base salary, right? It Sometimes, yes, sometimes no, depends on the passengers. So it is like this. Thank you, Albert. Ernest and Nancy. Okay, teacher. <clears throat> Maybe yes, but Salvador needs to establish a new police of samples to make more effective and efficient the traffic. Okay, yeah, that's it. Thank you. It is like, uh, well, the policy. Mm -hmm. Uh, to make more effective and efficient. It is very complicated because um, if something is efficient or effective, it is going to cost more in different aspects, right? But well, thank you, Ernest. It is true. Nancy and Fredis. Okay. Mm -hmm. um... Uh, public transportation should be free for students because usually students do not have money to travel. Thank you. Very specific, Nancy. I like it. Uh, students uh, normally 
don't have jobs. And especially high school students or elementary school students. So it could be like a big help for them to to have like a saving, and especially for the parents, right? Yeah, thank you. Freddy's and Ma. Uh, in my opinion, when things not are free, the people don't value it then on the story. Then, for example, how public place are dirty and um, now for transport to be public, we will have to change our culture that the person is destroying the public. Mm -hmm. Yeah, unfortunately, Freddy, it's, it's true. People don't like things for free because they don't consider it the value, right? I don't value. Yeah, it is like that. There are all the beaches, the parks, a lot of trash in there. Uh, but when you pay for something, sometimes, yeah, people is like uh, like trying to don't uh, damage something. Or if you pay for something, it's like you can have like another type of service. One example. And there are some parks in which you have to pay um for example, yes it could be like more efficient could it be in some yeah. places but in that it is not necessary to be in that way but it is the reality part of the reality thank you Freddy's. we finish with maho okay maho okay and uh, of course i think that we would have to be a facility for the population that the government should provide since the students need it. Not all people have the monetary resource even to pay for transportation. Additionally, transportation units, streets, and stops should be improved. A more organized transit system in this way, traffic could be less because more people left their cars at home. Thank you. Organized, a more organized, organized. transit. Yeah, imagine if there were like good service and for free, even in my case, I wouldn't use my car or even people uh, have motorcycle because it's cheaper than the car. But even to have a motorcycle, you have to use gasoline. So it is even motorcycle is cheap, but you can save that, that uh, money. Even if imagine when there is good, imagine, uh, if the transportation will be nice, even you, you can even study, sleep or whatever in the transportation. But now we have also units that are not good. They uh, expose a lot of smoke, right? And they have different things. Okay, my friends, we're going to finish this. Um, I need you just to write a sentence using will. Ese va a ser la manera en como nos vamos a despedir ahora y de esa manera yo voy a revisar la lista de asistencia. I need you to write one sentence using will, affirmative. Solo quiero una oración afirmativa utilizando will, así como cualquiera de las que están acá. Similar, but you have to create, you have to invent your own uh, sentence, ¿ok? Espero sus oraciones acá en el chat y de en dos minutos termino. Ok, eh, recuerden que estábamos oh, calendarizados para terminar el miércoles, pero por eh, las dificultades de la clase que no se pudo dar la semana pasada, vamos a cambiar este para el jueves, ¿verdad? La finalización del curso. Quiere decir que tenemos martes, miércoles y jueves. Tenemos tres clases más. No sin antes, eh, pues, recordarles que eh, no llenen la encuesta de satisfacción hasta el última, la última clase que va a ser el jueves. Please, please. Así que este, voy a estar pues, pendiente de los avances. Este, Majo, ¿pudiste avanzar en la plataforma? Yes, today 
bueno, ahora la finalicé toda. <risa> ahora ya la terminé. Perfecto. Adelante. Solo le escribí a Oneida porque no me respondió lo demás y no sé por qué ella tenía como que no había avanzado, pero yo sí. Pero ahora ya claro. terminé todo y le envié las capturas porque no me respondió. Pero espero mañana tener una respuesta. Bueno, vamos a estar pendiente de eso. Ok, okay gracias. gracias. Thank you, Majo. Thank you so much. Eh, Nancy, ¿estás por ahí? Yes, teacher. Eh, what about the platform? ¿Pudiste avanzar? Sí, bastante. Ahora eh, termino. Ah, ahora termino todo. Ok, perfect. A recommendation for you is that if you can finish all the platform tonight or tomorrow, do it. Ok, do it. And even there are just uh, like most of you already finished. La mayoría ya terminó. ¿verdad? Entonces, all of you have good grades, tienen buenas notas. De hecho, ya pues pasé las notas de la plataforma que me dan a la, al libro de calificaciones. Ok. And here we have Brandon, thank you. Majo, Ernest, Maritza, nice. Roberto, Albert. Que okay, Raquel, Freddy, Roxana, Miguel. Ok. Thank you. Here I have your sentences. Aquí tengo sus oraciones, ¿verdad? Eh, entonces quiere decir que, pues, ya aquí de esa manera paso lista, ¿verdad? So, oh, creo que solo Ernest me haría falta y. Morelia, tal vez. Ok. So. Have a good night. Pasen feliz noche. Solo nos quedan tres clases más. El jueves terminamos. Okay? Have a good night. Bye bye, my friends. See you. Thank you. Good night. 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 Okay, perfect. Good night. Buenas noches.